Welcome to the Spendwise Moms channel, your homemaking resource hub. Today's video is on how to work with your partner when they may not share your enthusiasm about decluttering. My first suggestion is to tread lightly. Everyone feels differently about clutter. Clutter bothers some people, but it doesn't seem to bother others. The more you push someone to organize and declutter your home, the more someone may dig in their heels and push back. I personally enjoy decluttering, but my spouse does not. Luckily for me, he does not buy a lot of stuff, so it isn't a big problem. One partner could say, if you love me, then you would get rid of clutter. The other partner could say, if you love me, you won't get rid of it. In other words, you have a stalemate and nothing changes. Finding a win-win in decluttering, as well as in marriage, is important. It's not fair for one spouse to call all the shots if you want a good marriage, whether it's about clutter, money, or whatever. The next suggestion is to work on your own stuff first. Maybe your good example will encourage your partner to have the desire to follow suit, but don't count on it. Once your own clutter is dealt with, then you can move ahead and try one of these following strategies. Do a 10-minute declutter together. Your whole house may be a cluttered mess, but just find a small area, drawer, or shelf that you can get done in a short time. Set the timer for 10 minutes, and when the timer goes off, you stop. In return, for your partner suffering through your decluttering, offer to do 10 minutes of whatever they would like. The fact that the time is short and that they get something in return has worked for us my spouse enjoys a clean and decluttered home, but he doesn't enjoy the process of doing it. I feel that way about housework. I like our home to be clean, but I don't really enjoy the actual cleaning. Using a timer has been a game changer for me. Sometimes clutter can be a safety hazard. If you leave things out, you might trip and fall. Imagine holding a young child and tripping on a bucket of toys at night that you had left out and had forgotten about. Clutter can also be a fire or health hazard. One person I worked with had a serious clutter problem. It took her a week just to make a walkway for me to come into her home to talk to her about helping her. There was nowhere to sit down. I spent three hours helping her clear off her sofa, and the next week it was completely cluttered again. She had two dogs, and they urinated and pooped everywhere. Needless to say, I stopped after a few sessions because we weren't getting anywhere. Another suggestion is to divide your home into areas or zones if you cannot agree on how to handle the clutter in your home. Each person has a responsibility for half of the house to do as they would like. You each get your own closets, for example. If you have two bathrooms, each of you can take a bathroom. Just divide the rooms in your home in a way that both of you are happy with the arrangement. This way, at least both partners have somewhere in the home that they feel like they can have things the way they want. Someone recently told me they felt like their stuff was like a ball and chain in their life, yet they couldn't get themselves to let go of anything. Most of the time, there is an emotional reason for this. Maybe they went through hard times financially and having more things might help them to feel more secure. Maybe they went through a divorce or some other difficult life thing. Talk to your spouse and try to understand why they feel the way they do about clutter. Realize that they might not even understand themselves. Maybe your partner's just overwhelmed with the responsibilities they have. Whatever you do, don't go get a storage unit. People pay lots of money for storage units to house stuff that isn't even worth the price that they pay in rent. One man rented a storage unit and only put one mattress in it. In many cases, you could easily replace old stuff with new stuff for the price you pay to house it in a storage unit. Trying to clean and declutter is hard for many people, and frankly, it can cause frustration and contention when someone is not willing to let go of stuff. The best solution is to have both people willing to work together towards a common goal. But if not, find a win-win by using a timer or by dividing areas in the house. If you have kids, 
Sharing the stuff you don't need and use with others teaches them to be generous. I said earlier in the video, decluttering is an area where you may need to tread lightly. Your relationship with your partner is the most important. Don't let things get in the way of that. Please comment below if you have things that have worked for you and your partner or roommates. Thanks for watching the Spendwise Moms channel. Please subscribe for more videos like this.